reality, it's your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So I want to talk about this because uh, this was actually something that, uh, you know, I actually recently found out about. Like, I already knew about Sean, uh, Shikari Richardson hating on Abby Steiner's uh, contract. Uh, she wanted the same type of contract and felt like she was underpaid. But in general, that $2, I, I said this before, Puma actually underpaid Abby. Abby should have been paid a little bit more than that $2 million that she got. But it's all good. Uh, it's still one of the largest contracts in track. So, you know, I don't think Abby's going to complain about that right now. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. But I did want to talk about a tweet that shikari sent now i don't keep up with shikari on social media like that all the time like i only look uh every now and then but apparently before the re when the relay race team came out she was hating on the whole relay team um and what she had to say directly to abby was that something about because abby was a 200 meter runner running in a, a 100 meter race i think that's what she had to say so she kind of underestimated abby didn't think abby was fast enough uh, to be on this team, you know, in a hundred meter race and boy, oh boy, did Abby prove her wrong. And I'm going to make another video in the future about that 9.86 that Abby got in this race and how historical the importance of that is. Cause I found out some facts from, uh, what channel was that total runner productions? I think it was, uh, he had some facts and I wanted to go over some of his facts in that video. So we're going to make that uh, video in the future, but, uh, near future it's going to be up soon so don't don't worry about how long it's going to be out but yeah back to this though uh so she ended up proving shikari wrong with that 9.86 the thing is about that could shikari even run a 9.86 in that race that that was the whole thing to me because i was that 9.86 was rare it was the third fastest time in the field and abby was on dead legs bro which means she would have ran even faster than that on fat on fresher legs so for for her to be a 200 meter runner to go to the 100 go to the 100 and get that type of score is amazing and i've been talking about like a couple of my videos recently my boy steven in the comment section knows this because I, I i had actually bought this up and we were talking about it in my last couple of videos about the starts right so if abby got out the blocks better in the one like in, in all her races but mainly focusing on the 100 she be like Mommy Rocket, Shelly and Frazier Price. One of the reasons why Shelly and Frazier Price beat Abby Steiner like she did outside of the whole dead legs thing. I think even, I, I said this before, even if Abby had fresher legs, it was all about Shelly and Frazier's start. Now, the race would have been closer, but Abby probably would have still lost. And the reason why was because of the way Shelly and Frazier starts. Like, look at her race today against Sharika Jackson. The starts are amazing out of the blocks. And I said, if Abby can improve that, she'll be a much better 100 meter distant runner like people think like oh the 200 is her event or whatever the reason why the 200 is her event because she can run in the 400 so she has a stamina and endurance to race another 100 meters she has great closing speed she knows how to uh, turn the corner she knows like that last 100 meters is the way she chases people down and all that stuff is amazing man and the reason why she's better at the 200 and the 100 because in the 100 her starts aren't that good it's not that she's not fast because if she got that down abby is beating the best of them she can consistently get a 10.65 a 10.80 a 10.90 in the 100 meters she could get that consistently it's 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 not a joke like she won't be someone who's slow she just got to get off the blocks better. That's the main thing that Abby has to work on is getting out of the blocks better. So it's very deceiving when people say, oh, she's, you know, she's not that good in the 100 for this reason because she's slow or whatever. No, it's because she doesn't get out of the blocks that well. Her starts are nasty. Her starts need to be cleaned up. That is the main thing. If she can get that out of the way, there's no stop at Abby Steiner. She will run down Shelly Ann Frazier Price like in every race. Like, she probably would have beat Sharika today. She just has to clean up the getting out of the blocks. So, Shikari, just like a lot of other haters do, they underestimated Abby that day. And Abby was the main contributor to that team winning that relay. And she deleted the tweet because she knew she was wrong.
And see, Shikari has been to a point where everything is like petty. Everything, now you got to delete tweets because you're wrong. Like, you shouldn't even be tweeting. You should be out there running with them. You should have been on that team with Abby, Jenna, uh, TT, and uh, Melissa Jefferson. Like, you should have been on that damn team instead of tweeting. You should have been in Eugene, Oregon, at the Worlds, in that damn race. You shouldn't even have to delete nothing because you shouldn't even be like coming at it from an analyst perspective. You know what I'm saying? But you was really hating though. See, that was the whole thing. You was really hating. And you wasn't just hating on Abby. You was hating on that whole damn team. But because <laughs> you knew you should have been on that team. That was the reason why you was hating and why, why you was jealous. Because you knew you should have been on that team. But you gotta stop running your mouth, man. You still you gotta stop. It's starting to irritate me the way you be running your mouth, man. You gotta clean this shit up, bro. You gotta clean this shit up. Cause this is whack what the hell you be doing, man. I don't mind somebody being cocky and arrogant or whatever. Like Noah Lyles does that. But he backs it up though. He comes to work and backs it up. And he's out there having fun. You know what I'm saying? But at least he backs it up at the end of the day. He backs it up. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to like Noel Lyles, but he he goes out there and he backs that shit up. See, if Shakari was the same way, we all have a lot of respect for Shakari because we're like, oh, damn, she wins every fucking time. She, she, we, we, we can't really complain because she's out there winning. But you're not even doing that, though, man. Come on now. But this speaks to, and this ain't even really about Shakari, really. This is about the haters, period, that keep underestimating Abby Steiner, man, and she keep proving them wrong. Then she goes out the next night and in a longer distance, it wins another damn gold medal. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, what the hell? Crazy. Crazy. But that's why I said I'm going to make a video in the future about Abby and the 100. And because I, the reason why I've been saying a lot more lately about her getting out of blocks, because I actually started some of her races. And yeah, it's about the way she gets out of the blocks. And so we're going to talk about that Abby in the 100 meters, because I think she could be a force in the 100 meters. I think it's crazy how she went through college and she ain't really figured that out that she needs to get out of the blocks better because she shouldn't even still be going into her last season in college not figuring that out, man. Like, you should have been figured that out. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only thing I'm disappointed with. Abby and her coaches is like, how do you figure that out by now that you got to get out of the blocks better, bro? You know what I'm saying? But go ahead and get this video like, man. Hit that like button for me as I exit on out here. This video should probably be up around... Well, I'll get to that in a second. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Uh, any comments I got, definitely on this. I know y'all got some comments. Definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit that super thanks button below. Shout out to David Close for uh, giving this channel a $10 donation last week. Really appreciate it, homie. And if you if it's easier for you guys, if you want to send the money to the Cash App instead, because I do have a Cash App, hit that dollar sign sack exchange. And I much appreciate um, getting a dono that way. So, um, that's on the cash app. But this video will probably be out Friday or Saturday morning. I think I'm going to try to put it up somewhere around that time. Because I'm not, I'm recording it Wednesday night, but I'm thinking, because I got another video on Abby Steiner versus Sean A. Miller, Weebo, and Femke Bo, I'm going to put up tomorrow. Uh, so this video is going to be up Friday or Saturday. That's when you guys going to, and then I'm going to do that 9.86 video, and I'm also going to do the 100 meter video in the future. I still actually got a couple of videos I haven't even released yet. I got one about Puma shoes, and I got one about uh, Abby's competitiveness. So I still got to put those out, man. So And I, and I got to do these, some new hype videos, man. So I got a lot of work to do when it comes to Abby Steiner <laughs> on this channel, y'all, man. <laughs> but thank y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for watching. After news, delight.